Not actually previously, just an excuse for an intro. Uh oh. Oh! No! There we go. No! No! Oh no! 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 I forgot about no no. No! No! Oh! 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 What? He got hit by a one. Don't die. I am a green. You? Are you fuck? No. Oh. It no! 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 Blum warrior. Attack! Oh! And it's over, guys. We failed, my lord. Every last soldier in the Ulster Raid is dead. And now, let's continue where we left off. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mengs. I'm Mecha. And we welcome you back to the desert. We're not in the desert yet, bro. <laughs> not yet. We're not gonna be in it for, like, the, the, this, this map is actually kind of fairly generous with this desert. I think you can even move through here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, everything that's, um, that's like 0% is something you just move through without you know, being impeded. Which is good, because I hate sand. Yeah, Everyone I who really hate- my I, draft race knows I hate sand. I really fucking hate it. sand. It's coarse and rough and gets everywhere. It's better, better not, not like to go you. through it. So you're soft, and bald, <laughs> and dumb at Fire Emblem. Thanks. So and you're only one person. I did the arena. Uh, everyone cleared it. No problem. No, uh, no surprise there. I even sent uh, Lester back in with a killer bow, and he got a couple crits, and he did well. Oh, nice. Nice. So it's only really, uh, it's uh, only Dermot and uh, Julia obviously got to level four, and everyone well, else still needs. Myrmidon, right? Yeah, I, I didn't even bother sending up against the Myrmidon. So there's no way she's uh, gonna win that. Anything? Okay, I think if she's like, if she hits Nosferatu and the guy, does he kill her in two hits? He kills her in two hits and he doubles. So that is a problem, yeah, because she can't really dodge. Yeah, okay, I I understand that. It's fine. She's not. She's gonna max out anyway. She's going to max out. However, uh, there is one thing that we have returned, and uh, <laughs> yes, it's time for meme <laughs> review. Uh, My favorite time of the year. Yes, it's meme review. Uh, we got memes the moment this started up. A bunch of people sent me memes. I'm happy to see that you guys are still uh, still in your A-game. So yeah, the first one, right here, I think you'll appreciate this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad someone caught that. <laughs> uh, then we have, a bit of a, <laughs> we have a bit of a sad meme. <laughs> well, I've seen this one before. <laughs> yeah, this may not be an OG meme, but still. Um, so it's an old meme, but it checks out. Yeah. <laughs> Let me have this one. This one cracked me up. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, finally, we have this one. A little bit of reading involved, but yeah. <laughs> The best memes are the ones where you change as little as possible and it's still funny. Manx 2019. <laughs> <laughs> what is that upper picture even? It's from Canada. Yeah, is it the it's the enemy north part, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's uh, from when we when we had breakfast in the hotel. Oh, I like how they photoshopped out everyone else. Yeah, right? He, he actually <laughs> went through the trouble of like removing Chaz and Stevie and Goose and everything. Yeah, this just... is erasure. This yeah, is so it looks like erasure. I'm, it looks like I'm having breakfast all on my own. It's really I, sad. I thought, like, the, I'm not gonna lie, the first moment I saw it, I thought it was like a picture of you like D&D &D or something. Because it's like a messy table with you sitting at yeah. it. So my first nope. association was D&D. &D. Just me <laughs> having having breakfast all on my own. So. Just, uh, uh... So we need to get the uh, we need to get the uh, the items out of the way. So um, I'm, I was thinking Ulster could get the uh, there's there's things to buy here in the armory. There's a there's a bolt sword or a fire sword I think. Oh, I like giving it to Oifi personally. Oh yeah. But there's also other fire like the fire sword is the worst because it's elf fire, so it's the heaviest. So ah. It's like, generally, you'd rather have like a thunder sword, which I think is a Larsay. I don't yes. think you have to win sword at all. No, we 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 actually didn't get the win sword. We'll talk more about that when we get to uh, to. Where party. is your light brand again? It's on Patty. Okay, okay, that makes sense. That's good. So uh, I was thinking, do you want to sell some of the lances he's walking around with? Well, she's not gonna use okay, them. So if, she, if she sells it, she can just get Paragon. Why didn't we do that? 
Oh, she has. Oh, right. Never, never mind. Okay. She has yeah, thirty-five thousand no. after the arena. There's yeah, no way. Okay, I, I mean, was, I, to be I, fair, I she does have the thief sword, so we could have hauled it back. Yeah, I would actually. I would hold off on selling now, because like, what is it gonna do for you right now? Right. What, what are you gonna give get? Give a get lance to Oifi, maybe. Uh, you could get the brave lance to Oifi to like. No, not really brave lance. Stuff. No, 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 no. I, I just want a lance on him. That's not the javelin. Uh, okay, fair enough. You could get the slim I, lance, I guess. Yeah, that one's that one's actually really nice on him, yeah. And you want the I think, flame I think sword he already has his lance anyway. Yeah, you might as well, I guess. I mean, it will delay his paragon, but yeah, whatever. I think if he's nice gonna to... cap. I don't think that's gonna be an issue. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think that's it. I think that is everyone. Yeah, uh... I think right now we do want to like limit your options for later on when it comes to item shuffling because we don't like know exactly when they will hit the the threshold for buying the paragon ring. Most mm -hmm. of these. So I'm going to save, and uh, we're going to be talking about these two very soon. But first, uh, I want to move them. So uh, I think the best the best place... This is a bit of a tricky. So Shannon here needs to talk to Patty to get the Ball Moon. And you want to do this on the first turn, because it gives him a lot of extra void. But you don't want to place him in range of too many of the Dark Mages. I'd like them in range of, like... I think it can be in range of zero of them, which is what I usually do. So and that would be, I like, the... here? Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the Dark Mages have five, and the, the Mercenaries have six, and then the like the Dark Mages obviously have an extra point of, uh, of yes. range. Yes, so if we place Shannon, if we place Shannon, like, here, he should take both of the Myrmidons without taking any Dark Mages. Yeah, I think usually I put Patty, like, one before her max movement or something, is the way I remember it. Like here? That, you, uh, well, one up, probably, but yeah. That one will up, put Shannon here, which will put him in range. Yeah, whatever, just do whatever, whatever you thought was best then, because I, I, it's been a while. Yeah, so I want to put... Uh, oh, wait, I remember now. So what I do is I usually put him in range of nothing at all in turn one, right? Oh, and really? The next turn, the enemy face the Myrmidons, because they have one more move. So they will move ahead of the Dark Mages. Ah! And then you can take those on an enemy phase, right? That's right. Nice. Okay, cool. So you move... You, you don't move Patty Max range, though. You move her here. Yeah, that's what I think I usually do. Mm-hmm. And then you go, talking. yeah, okay, that's smart, actually. Because then I can also yeah. save at the end of the next turn and, and reload if I take damage. Yeah, that's also nice. Yeah, stop, get your hands off me. Ugh, look, I don't want to hurt you. Could you just give me that sword back? Wait, give it back? Is it yours? Yes, it is. It's my family's ancestral blade, Balmon. I'm the only person capable of using it. You have nothing to gain from keeping it. Wait, so how'd this thing end up in need anyway? It belonged to my father, who died in Granville's war with Isaac. Someone must have stolen it from him after he died. I only recently learned that it was being kept at Yeed, so I came to retrieve it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Could it be... Are you Isaac's Prince Shannon? I am. Really? It's really, really you? Wow, oh my gosh, it's incredible! All right. No, really, I've heard all the stories about you, all of them. I've been a huge fan of yours for so long, but I never thought I'd actually meet you! You're here! You're really here talking to me right now! Oh my god, it's like all my dreams come true! Yeah, yeah, I think I get the idea. My sword, please! Alright, sorry, here you go! Balmung, my holy sword. It's finally mine! Hmm. Ah, uh, what is this power? Wow, this is incredible! I'm not even sure if Patty's talking about, like, meeting him is incredible, or wow, the sword is incredible. <laughs> I think she's just starstruck, yeah? Yeah. So yeah. Nice. Shannon just unlocked his true power. Yeah, I think uh, I don't think you can hit him anymore. I think he's, he's good now. He's, he's pretty uh, good now, good. yeah. You can solo the game now. We're, we're done here. So yeah, this is the ball moon. It's pretty crazy. Gives uh, 20 speed, 10 skill. It's kind of similar to the Facetta in a way, except that it's a sword. So it's the exact same bonuses, yeah. But it's not too range, so it's worse. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but it's physical, I guess. So yeah, here's Shannon. Now, you, you may look at Shannon and you may think, What the fuck? What what's going on here? Like what 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 is the what's the catch? What what is the deal with this guy? Why is he so ridiculously buff? So I think this is just part of uh, you know the some of Kaga's design philosophy that you know you should get a unit that can kill everything just in case you fuck up. Like in in the first chapter you got Oifi and you know in case Oifi is not cutting it anymore or maybe if you killed him if you're bad I don't know. <laughs> you get Shannon as like a, an I win button. Like if you need to kill a dangerous boss like Ishtar or Bloom or Ishtar, Shannon's there to just delete any unit you throw him at. There's there is no catch. I mean, yeah, I guess he's he doesn't have a mount and he doesn't have true range, but 
he will pretty much dodge anything, and he will also kill anything that, that he goes up against. Uh, except maybe, like, some of the few final last bosses. And in addition to that, his growth rates aren't even all that bad, because he comes with major auto blood, so... He will, not that he needs to grow a single point. I think Shanana Base can completely hold his own throughout the entire game. I don't, I don't think he needs a single level up. But, you know, if you want to train him, you can. And, of course, we have to, because it's a ranked run. Uh, it's fun to send him through the arena, honestly. Just watch him, like, just one-shot enemies. Even without the Balmung. <laughs> he doesn't need the Balmung, honestly. You can just give... Like, with the Steel Blade, he can, he can clear the gauntlet just fine. But, I mean... I don't know if Shauna, like, I guess we want to pair him up with Patty so that he can give her money. So we do want to save, hold back the money a little bit. I don't know if he needs the Paragon Ring. He might, he might. But, um... He should probably get it a couple times. He's not, like, that high level. He's only level 12. He is only level 12, so he's actually lower level than Oifi, but his stats are, like, way better. Um, so, yeah, no, he's pretty, pretty fucking busted. So, uh, you know, like, pure combat-wise, I'd probably rate Shauna, like, 5 stars. But because he lacks a mount and he joins a little later... Then I think four stars is a fair rating for him, but he is way better in combat than any of our other four star units. It's a bit of a deceptive rating, but yeah, no, he's he's really good. Yeah, I I absolutely love this guy. He can finish final chapter enemies with his Balmung alone and no growth at all. Uh, I want to address something really funny. So there is a glitch in this game where if you pair Holen with Ira and then the kids have major Holo Odo blood just like Shannon, and they can theoretically, if they were able to attain it, they can use the Balmung. There's a glitch where you can revive Shannon. Like, if you get him killed and you revive him and you do some other weird button presses, you can get the Bellman on them. And a lot of people, especially Larsay fans, they like to do that because they love Larsay. And they will bring it up as an argument as to why Larsay is better than Shannon. Or <laughs> they will they will do the other amazing thing and they will convince themselves that because Shannon relies on the Bellman, he is worse than Larsay because Larsay doesn't need the Bellman to be good. But let me tell you, Shannon has the Belmong, and he's really good with it. Even if he didn't have it, his stats were still good, but he has the Belmong. You can't just, just like wave it away or use a glitch to say he doesn't have it. That's over like because saying Marcus wouldn't be good without them. his base stats. Yeah, it's like this he This unit would them. be good without X or without X or Y. It really doesn't matter. The point is he has it. It's super good. He doubles everything. He has pursuits. He has adapts. It, he has 30 might on his weapon. He has a good base strength of 18. He too kills everything and doubles, and he has two chances at add, which he has like an... It's like a 60% chance to proc or something. It's insane how much, how many times this guy attacks. He has Astra too, so that's like another 32% chance to attack again. He's insanely good. The one weakness he has, I think, is that his HP base is not that high, so someone like Bloom, who appears in this chapter, or like the, the Thor Hammer, whenever it appears, it just one-shots him. Yeah. So he can't really fight holy weapons users that well. He doesn't really do very well against like the, the Goon Gear uses either. Like, that's all a bit of a problem for him, but against generic enemies, he's a boss. And I think Kaga does this mostly to just, it's like a, a story gameplay integration thing where the legendary weapons, the holy weapons, they turn you into a superhuman and he really wants to reflect that into gameplay. Yeah. I know there's like a real actual gameplay itself um, purpose behind it, but hey, it doesn't break the game that badly considering all the tools we already have available. We already have Force City, we already have Seleph, we already have julia who's also pretty damn good for example so i don't really mind it very much plus you know the idea behind f4 ranked is that you use everyone anyway so you can't just beat it with shannon if you want to get into ranked so um four stars is fair yeah four stars is good I, I think i would give him five stars for combat alone like you said but he does need a movement boost sometimes i do actually hope that when they get around to remaking this game that they won't nerf the holy weapons that would be sad uh, yeah, that well, they probably will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I wouldn't completely blame them for it, but I will miss it. So yeah, let's talk about Patty. Don't really know why people are so excited about this this girl. Um, yeah, here's Patty. She's blonde. Yeah, I get. Uh, she is, but uh, yeah, you're right. I didn't. Oh, I forgot. I think she's also really young. <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably why. So. uh... <laughs> So, uh, this is where our light brand ended up. This is the light brand that usually goes to Leaf, but we put it on Patty. So, we could have gotten the Wind Sword in the first generation on Dew. We opted not to, because uh, it's so far out of Dew's path, and we wanted Dew to do other things for that map. In particular, he needed to, to steal gold from the pirates. There's like a bunch of pirates that spawn in Chapter 3 with like 5,000 gold each, and we really wanted that money. So, we made a choice. We decided to forego the Wind Sword, because it's not really that good. 
Now, would it would it be nice to have the Windsword on Patty and like the Life Brand on Leaf? Sure, it would have been nice, but it wouldn't have been worth all the turns we have to sp waste to get it. And uh, we wanted to keep Dew next to Bridget too, to build love points because that is a pairing that we really know. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a very slow pairing. So now she has the Life Brand, and that's good because she needs that one-two range to steal from a distance. So uh, we also gave her the Pursuit Band because now she can Pursuit. This is not a skill she gets normally unless you pass it down to uh, via one of her parents. So uh, yeah, let's talk about Patty. So uh, Patty, uh, she is the uh, daughter of uh, Dew and Bridget, and uh, thanks to Dew, she comes with uh, Pursuit. Uh, sorry, not Pursuit. <laughs> she comes with Soul, which is not gonna be super useful. But she goes with Bargain, which is nice. It means she can get the the Paragon Ring easier than others, and then Solid back without losing any money. Um, and uh, Dew does give her like decent-ish growth rates, but her bases are still pretty shit. Uh, she's nowhere near as terrible as her substitute Daisy, uh, but that's like, you know, that doesn't really say anything. She's still really bad. She's going to be one of the units that we're going to struggle the most leveling up, I think, in the second generation. Uh, her base strength is just really shit. Uh, she does come with a sleep edge, which she can use in the arena. Like, if, if she hits, there's a small chance she can put her arena opponent to sleep, which allows her to actually win the fight. Although it might take her a while, because the sleep edge doesn't have the best of stats. But she is still going to be a very useful unit because, of course, just like Dew, she's going to be used to steal gold. And she's going to give that gold away to other people and give them experience. Uh, and so, I mean, we rated Dew five stars. Or you rated Dew five stars yes. in the first generation. I did. So that makes me think that, you know, we should probably rate Patty five stars in this generation. I mean, you're free to do your own ratings, but I mean, in hindsight, you could probably see how much use we got out of do. I so agree, but I agree with it. I agree with your rating of five stars. So I'm going going to give Patty Patty five stars for the sole logic of you know, do was a five star unit, and so Patty is due basically. Um, she's like a better do in many ways. So yeah, I'm gonna rate Patty five five out of five stars because gold equals experience, and she can give that. She can basically give experience to other units, and that is insanely good. So yeah, her, it's gonna be a pain in the ass leveling her up. But, you know, aside from that, she's going to be a very useful unit. Looks like you figure out why people are so excited for her. They want the gold. They're yeah, just right. really excited <laughs> to just get gold on their other units. It's just the simple way it's going to work. Uh, yeah, it's a very shitty combat unit. With Light Breath, that's her steal with range, which is very necessary because her durability is absolute crap. And even her speed isn't really as high as you would want on a thief, right? I mean, you don't need speed to steal in this game, but she might die just due to sheer lack of speed sometimes, which is stupid to think about, but... Thief class phases are just that bad. The strength especially hurts her. She's not going to do a whole lot more magic, more damage with, uh, you know, so, you know, hitting at, at close range with sword compared to like the light brand. So having one magic doesn't really hurt very much. And once she's done with the light brand and the pursuit brand, she can just sell those and give her money away. So it's going to be nice too. Sleep edge lets her cheese the arena kind of nicely. Just keep trying until she gets it. Um, it would be nice if she's faster than the opponent because then she can get a hit in before yeah. you know, she's killed <laughs> but it's pretty heavy so that's going to be kind of difficult sometimes uh she does get pursued after she promotes so at the point she can become a sort of competent fighter i think the promotion bonuses are pretty all right so you know, i remember do becoming sort of competent when promoted so that is something to look forward to she also gets like an extra point of movement i think at that point it's also kind of nice but yeah uh thief in a ranked run i will give it five stars every single time five stars if it was like not a ranked run i'd probably go like four still like it's still nice to give gold away to someone like I, I take Leaf. He really needs the Paragon Ban, but he doesn't have the gold for it, even though we gave him a bunch of shit. So, Paddy is going to be partially responsible, probably, for promoting someone at Leaf. Whereas before, he wouldn't have promoted until, like, Chapter 9. So, that alone is, like, worth it. It's, it's very weird how it works, but it's really good. Five stars. Here's a question. If we did a substitute run, would you rank Daisy five stars? Yeah, if it was a substitute ranked run, I probably would, because it's really just about the... the gold giving rather than the combat. Like, their combat, to me, it's annoying, but you don't really have to deal with it as long as you're just stealing stuff. Like, the gold is the gold stealing is so important that you, 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 you do whatever it takes to get around your bad combat. So a lot, of, a lot of people have wanted us to rank the substitutes, and the reason why I'm not going to do that is because, first of all, we're already spending way too much time ranking the units as it is. But the, sec uh -huh. but the, re the other reason is the substitutes are just, like, worse you burst and stuff, their original cells. Like, they're... Mostly. There are a couple of substitutes, like the, uh, the, the whole, the Freej kids act a little differently to their originals. Yeah, well, I made it just worse. <laughs> yeah, but in most, like, in most cases, like... Nana substitute Jan is just a worse Nana with no inheritance. There is everything we say about Nana also applies to Jan, except that she doesn't have the skills or the items or the stats. It's just Nana minus, basically. Yeah. 
So uh, I say we uh, we start moving down here. Yeah, that's good. I mean, it's, it's gonna open up your options. He's not in range yet, as far as I know, so that'll be good. Yeah. I mean, you have to make the choice on whether you want to prioritize hitting bandits or you know, fighting enemies. You probably want to fight enemies first. We probably want to get rid of these three bandits first, I think, and then we'll see. Oh yeah, they're not in range yet. Okay, never mind. Just fight some bandits then. Yeah, and there's then... like too many bandits. They'll always burn down a lot of your villages anyway, because they're like six bandits total and like five, so it'll be pretty hard. So how these do you how do you want to deal with the dark mages? Well. Okay, so Selif is going to be, like, off on his own, probably, in the desert, so we can't really rely on his health. It's like, if he has to move full move towards Yeet every turn, we can't really use him to kill the Dark Mages, but no. you have a couple options. You can um, you can bait him with Oifi, he's going to take one hit, and you can just, like, Flame Sword or Javelin them. Javelin kills, I think, Flame Sword doesn't, because it's magical. Yeah. I think you want to go down, but whatever. Oh, really? Um, nah, whatever, it's not going to happen. Doesn't he want to go like this? this? Yeah, actually, that works, that's fine. But I think down accomplishes the same, but gives him more options next turn, but that's fine. So, uh, how, by the way, do you want to send Fee down to help out down here? I don't think they need it. I like to send Fee towards... I mean, she can Thief Sword from the Bandits if you keep them alive. That is kind of nice. I like to send her towards the Shield Ring Village, which is near Darna. Ah. A little bit. Uh, yeah. But she's going to take a while to get there, but everyone else is going to take even longer. She so might as well go there. There's a lot of gold down here, though, but yeah, sure. There is. You could also go there, but the... And the shield ring feels pretty important to me. So, it might be tough to get to at some point. I don't know. You can also go down if you want, but I don't know how many of the, the bands you plan to kill. Because every bandit you kill is 5,000 less gold that Fee can get. You can I just the realized that she's going to cap out on gold like after three bandits. Yes. That's uh, that's not a reason why I think one bandit is enough for her. She can might, might even be able to steal from a dark mage on her way there. <laughs> sure, let's do that. So, so, you just fly left in that case. You can also fly down right now, keep your options open a little bit. Sure. This, uh, I think the village is like far down anyway. Kind of far down. Yeah, we can do this. Uh, mm. I think Julia's also pretty good against the Dark Mages, isn't she? She is. She heals back all the damage they do to her. She's yeah. Very good against them. I think it's like her intended purpose almost. Mm -hmm. uh, I think depending on the HP values, uh, Dermot and Lester can survive a hit. But sometimes they just get, they get O code. Yeah, I'm going to sell one of my though. skill rings. Oh, that's, that's probably a good idea. He doesn't need to. And now he yeah, actually has enough for the Paragon, but. Salaf oh. has it at the moment, so... Oh, yeah, right. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. So I, I think there might be some people who get one-shot by these. Yeah, I know that the Dimna and Tristan get one-shot, the substitutes of Lester and friends, but I, I think your 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 German is definitely fine. I think so, too. We'll see. I saw he had, like, 39 HP, and I think this is fine. I think they had, like, 30, 29 attack, I think, so maybe they're actually just completely fine. So do you want to have one of them being attacked by, like, Oifi, like, soften one of them up? Uh, well, if you want to get to kill the two weak unit, yes, but if not, then I wouldn't care. Of course. So, who needs, like, who needs to be weakened, honestly? Because almost all these units can kill them. Joe Halva can also kill them uh, with the Brave Axe. Yeah, but it's if we if we let Oifi take damage, then that's, uh, that's healing for, like, we can heal yes, him. Yes, it is. And that that's is experience good. that we can do, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you asked, like, last time, do you want to leave, like, a Warper at home? I think right now I just put everyone outside, and then we'll just decide later. Yes. And Lana... I think if, if someone's gonna stay home, it should be Lana, because Yudre or Julia is so good against these dark mages. Oh yeah, but I mean, like she could be on the field anyway, right? Yeah. It's just um, wait. Oh, we didn't get set up the return ring. That's right, because we couldn't. No, we did that. not. Yeah. All right. Okay, never mind. That's fine. Let's it's go. Fine. That's cool. Oh what? Oh okay. I thought he'd be in range, but clearly not. No, apparently you, you fucked up, but it's fine. This, this is like, <laughs> there's only two of them in range anyway, it's fine. That's okay, yeah. these guys aren't that scary. It'd be cool if you could kill the one that's like in Celeb's way with Celeb himself. Oh, never it's mind, he does get, oh boy. Please don't get hit. It's only one guy, right? Yeah, but here's the thing. If one of those guys hit Shana, they put him in kill range of the... the... Yeah, shucks. But you have to take those risks at some point anyway. Like. Yeah, but okay, at so least now I, can, now I can save the game. And... Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if he gets hit, I'm going to just load my save next turn. Yeah. Well, in player phase, he almost never gets hit. Because not only do they have, like, 16 hit, but you can also activate Adam through Astra. And yeah, you want to kill the Dark Mages most of the time. So, uh, the reason why we're... Like, you can run away with Shannon. That's, that's an option that you certainly can do. But the thing is... Um, I hate doing that. <laughs> yeah, it's not fun. Because this guy, uh, the boss... Good stuff. He uh he has a bargain ban, which is kinda of funny. Like I don't He drops it if you don't have it. Yes, that's right, he drops it, but if he... <laughs> 
But like, if you if you if you pass it down, he still has it. It's just like mm -hmm. he's like just a tease. He's like, <laughs> look at me, I'm my boy, good man. Uh, I don't know. I think it's it's just to show that like this is where you get it if you don't pass it down. So don't worry. Yeah. It's, so it's, I think I got be nice. <laughs> yeah. On turn twelve or something, he finds his Fenrir tome, and at that point, yes. it, like this guy is a monster with the Fenrir. Like he's a twenty-one magic. He kills. I think he pretty much kills everyone with it. Like even Selif, he comes close to murdering Selif with it. I think Selif doesn't I have think a lot. He survives right now. Oh uh, yeah, he has fifty-eight. Yeah, sixty HP, bro. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fine. He survives, but it's still annoying. It it is very annoying because it's like very hard to get a healer over there. You have to walk through the desert. So, uh, what do you say we do here? Do we take out the mercenaries or the dark mage first? Okay, so um, if you take out the dark mage now, you have to face two of them on enemy phase in addition to the myrmidons. What I would do, I think, is run away a little bit further and try to isolate the myrmidons, the mercenaries, and yeah. fight them on enemy phase without being in range of the dark mage, right? And then you can like, once he dodges those, you can save your gaming. And you do have to be careful of those guys you're highlighting them now. Yeah. They will also like sandwich you. You have to be careful not to get trapped. So do you want to but take I this think... guy on enemy face then? Uh, if you can do it without taking on a dark mage, sure. But you have to count your tiles properly. Yeah. <laughs> there's like there's like desert sand and everything, so it can be a little Two, bit annoying three, to calculate. Four, five. So they can attack up to here. One, two, so. three, four, five, six. Yeah. So if you put Sean on here, you can just like move him and then check, and if it doesn't work, just reset the turn. Ah, yes. Yeah, actually, a really good point. Yeah. And then Who I'll... are you? Yeah, and then we can do... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that works. that works. Yeah. Unfortunately, you can't really, like, gain love points like this because Patty just... Yeah. Really major, but it's fine. She's just gonna have to wait. Love pretty much naturally is if you just play solely. Mm -hmm. So, uh, who, who do we prioritize getting kills here? Uh, I mean, honestly, Seleth. <laughs> I mean, can Seleth kill the other Dark Mage? That's like, isn't there one to the left somewhere? Uh, like, there is one yeah. here, yeah. Okay. We slow down by like, the sand. Okay, so yeah, I, I honestly feel like he might want to do it to sell because like he has the Paragon band, and then no one else here really needs the kills yet, I guess. Yeah. Unless they're to kill with the break bow, like kill without taking a counter. I think kind so. Let's change. see. Uh, yep. no. No, no, no. He's very close though. Like one more point of strength, that you could do it. I can so, physic uh, him though, so it's okay. Uh, I think physic still puts him in kill range, right? He doesn't get top. But top Oifi so. can kill. Yeah, but Oifi, there's no point in killing with He's so over level. And these guys are like level one, I think. So he's gonna get like no XP from it. So what do you want to do? I would then? kill with I would kill with Johalva or Selif. If you don't want to slow down Selif, I would just kill with Johalva. So he All can right. take a hit, I think. He kills. Um, yeah, he can, and like, but the other guys can they attack him? Like uh, no, one of the two? no, 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 they cannot. Okay, okay, that's good then. Crab wall. Johalva's not gonna get much of a chance to uh, be on the battlefield. No, no, he really isn't. Wow. But, same time, XP is pretty low. <laughs> it is very low. Okay, okay. So then uh, we can just run with Salaf, like, Nyong. Yeah, and um, you can take a. It's fine if he like takes a hit from this Dark Mage, because I think he's going to face any other combat on his way to the Heat Shrine. Yeah, no, you're so, probably right. Unless yeah. you like let the guy get his Fenrir back, but we all know you're not stupid enough to do that, right? No, I would never do that. Not like that happened yeah. every other time I played, so. Yeah. So, uh, uh, do, you just, do we just place someone in range of these guys then? Yeah, Julia, you're not in any hurry to move down left because you know you have almost forever to walk down there <laughs> because Celeb is taking so long to get to the Because right? you get blocked by those yellow guys. Yeah, yeah, right. Darn stupid, stupid yellow guys. I'm a yeah. yellow unit. So uh, I don't know what we do here. Like take a I'd hit. Put like it. Arthur. 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 Range, I think. Lest, yeah, Lest, Lester can get, take like he's mounted, so he's gonna have an easier time getting to the speed. But Arthur needs some help getting the speed. Unfortunately, it looks like he's not in range. So, he's not in range. Okay. Could do Julia, but she's Julia not in range either. Yeah, uh, I guess it's gonna have to be lesser than. Yeah, but can he take a hit? You can take one hit. He took 31 to his 33. He just can't take two. Yes. All right, so we'll place uh, Lester here then. Could even do like Lester chip. And then oh. Someone else kill. Oh Lester. shit. Bro. <laughs> one. I said one dark mage. Shit. One. Not two. One. This no, is, that's not math. That that's literally like Sesame Street level accounting. We have to do this oh, now. Really? I mean, we have yeah, to. Yeah, see this for set the turn, I guess. It doesn't even kill, bro. God damn it! I think javelin isn't that javelin stronger than Stimlands? I don't remember. Uh... Sometimes it is when you play Fire Emblem, but maybe I can weird. get a crit. Bro, that's the same damage but less avoid. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Same damage, but less avoid. Nice one. Oh. Did you move Lana already? Yeah. F. Wait. Is he fine? No! Uh, if you physic him, he is like, uh, fuck. 
be right back. Fucking. <laughs> this is not a difficult game. Come on. Let's turn one. Load the other one. Oh. You know to turn one. It's very uh, good at save states. God. Oh, I almost saved. Jesus. <laughs> right, let's see. Uh, the other one. The other one. Second. There we go. The other one. There we go. And then we place him like here. Bruh. Actually, I think it's okay to do this. Yeah. All right. Worth it. And then we do <laughs> something else. <laughs> <laughs> we do something else. Yeah. Do this and Salaf. Javier. Also feed him all to Arthur, or like feed this guy to Arthur. Backward, but that works. Too. We can just not. We could just not do that. Uh huh. We could just let them come to us. Honestly, that yeah. might be better. We should probably prioritize Arthur. Probably. There we go. Uh, and leaf. Okay, alright. Okay, guys, we're back. So, we're just not going to attack. Just gonna let, let them come to it's probably us. probably better if we just spend the rest of this game just not attack. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably safer for everyone. Anyway, let's, uh, let's uh, check out leaf here. Do you think we should just use a fast weapon to increase the chance of adapt? I would just weaken it with Finn and kill with leaf. And I think Finn one rounds. Uh, sometimes he does that, yeah. And... It's... Like, Actually, as you can no. see, he's very close, so sometimes he doesn't one round, which is one reason why I don't think Finn should be trained that much. Oh yeah, because he can set up kills for Finn, yeah. Yeah, well, for Leaf, yeah, yeah. I know you meant that. Oh, for, for Leaf, yeah. Nah, yeah. he was still one there's, there's, there's not no weaker lance he can use, like, the Slim Lance is stronger than the Iron Lance. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Yeah, uh, Nana can set up a kill if you're not okay with not healing Finn. Yeah, yeah, I think that works. So let's do the... For some reason, whenever I have Nana attack these guys, she always gets hit for me. I don't know why, but it just, it just always happens. We'll but see. Can heal herself with the Earth Sword. I mean, I guess they have a 16% chance to hit, but still. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it exists. Uh, yeah, who do you want to get the speed village? Ring village. To? That's the speed ring village. Okay, so be... No, wait, 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 wait. I give it to Leaf actually. Maybe, I'm just gonna put her cool. here. I'm just gonna put her. In. That's fine. That's fine. That's so fine. you, that's so speed ring to? Oh no! Nice range weapon, bro. Nice no! kill. No. It's fine. They just run away. Fine. What? Why? Oh, I, oh, you can do that. Yeah, that, that, actually, that's a good idea. Getting in villages for kills. Instead. Okay. And like the brigands are gonna run left, so you can just feed them all to leave. Yeah, Bash, brutal or... rule has broken us so we can't live like this much longer. Please, I beg of you, save us all. <laughs> okay, give okay, me your so money. Now, now that we can do this, now that I realized we can like get all the gold in the area and then walk them out there. Yeah. We can. Yeah. It's a good idea. So, not bad. All right, let's see so how this goes. Turn band. Please don't get hit, Sean. On oh wow. They have this delay after they move, that always freaks me out. It looks like they're about to attack. Scary boys. Okay, you might want to physic him anyway, just in case the, the thing happens to the Fenrir, or he has to fight a Dark Mage somewhere, I don't know. Yeah, I think so You too. don't really have a whole lot to heal anyway. Did you repair the physic, by the way? I did. Okay. So it has 10 uses. Yeah. Alright. Okay, oh so boy, here like, they come. Take like one, more, one or two more turns and then those guys will fuck you up. Yeah, so. we can't really put it off any longer. Don't get hit. Thank you. Nice. Uh, oh, he's on a. He's no longer on a minus ten avoid tile, I think. Oh, now right, he's... that's true. Or no, he is. Oh yeah, he is. Now. Okay, you're you're right. Okay, so now that you can't hit the dark mages this turn. All right, things happen so. here. My lord, we've received words that the Osakian rebels are on the move. Osakian rebels? Aha, uh -huh, the one that led by that brat Solis, was it? Or Serilis? Or something like that? Uh, interesting. <laughs> Very interesting indeed. That's a bit of a... I think this is a bit of a... a, a, a like a It's joke. a reference to name jerking, yeah. Yeah, it is, right? Yeah, the, the maker of this patch really hates the name jerking debates about like, Oh, this character should be called this, because I'm used to that. Really uh, fucking hates it. Should just call him Serisu. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> The Empire's put a hefty price on that boy's head. Let's make sure we're the ones to rake in that bounty, shall we? Keep our border locked down for the time being. The best option is to let them run themselves ragged, leaving them wide open to our strike. Instruct Commander Jabaro to put his squad on standby. His services will be needed in short order. His services? Hey, what's with all this noise? You're not about to go to war, are you? Uh, no, we're, we've not entered such a dire state yet. For the time being, we are merely preparing for the arrival of the Asakin Rebel Army. Oh, that's good. I guess I'm a bit worried about how you're gonna have to go and fight too, Aris. What sorry excuse for a mercenary would I be if I refused to join a battle, Lean? Never mind one which, rumor has it, will oppose Sigurd's son. Never would I deny a chance to personally slay the spawn of my father's mortal foe! Hmm. The original edgelord right here. 
Hee <laughs> hee! You're still going on about that, are you? Oh, you dolts! I mean, think about it. Both your father and that Sigurd man were knights, weren't they? And isn't killing part of a knight's job? It's like my job. Sometimes I got to dance for foul, leering men. I hate it, but it's part of the work. I just have to deal with it. We all gotta do what we gotta do. Get, get by in life. I don't know. I just don't think it's right to hate someone for doing their job. Lean, I understand. I'll have to think it over for a time, but I do understand. Yeah. Gotta do what you gotta yeah. do. Yeah, that's definitely what we're gonna do. Uh -huh. I love the Alster theme. It's so, it's so great. catchy. It's, it doesn't fit, like, it's supposed to be like an evil army, and they got like the most jolly food tune in Drink Girl. It has like bandits that ravage villages. Yeah. Dude, dude, <laughs> let's burn villages. Yeah. <laughs> woo, woo. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, can we pause? I'm hungry as fuck. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> okay.